Oh baby, the Power World Mania is still pegged at full open throttle, and I get it. I see now what you've been saying in my ARC comment sections. I understand what you've been trying to tell me, and believe me, I agree with all of it. Welcome to the channel, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I don't know what to say other than I'm enjoying the hell out of this survival game. Now, the game has seen some recent updates from the CEO, especially when it comes to maintaining the servers, even joking that could bankrupt Pocket Pair. We've also seen Xbox stepping up to assist in this department, and we've also seen the absolutely mental numbers just rolling in on the daily, and all of it we're going to be getting into today. Consider hitting subscribe and ringing the notifications bell to receive my future upload alerts, and Let's get into the latest from Pokemon with Guns, Power World. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, we all know that this game has taken the gaming industry by storm. I mean, it has literally broken the internet. And as of a few days ago, taking the absurd player counts that were already in place for Steam and then tossing in the latest Xbox player counts and you land somewhere at 19 plus million players in under two weeks. Pal World is only the second game in history to surpass the 2 million concurrent players mark on Steam, only trailing PUBG, which I think was somewhere in the mid 3 millions here. Let me look it up. Yeah, it was at 3.257 million. Now, studios throw massive parties when concurrent player counts are, you know, over 100,000 players. And we're talking about major AAA studios with big time budgets that would put on a party if they could hit those player counts. And along comes Pocket Pair with a budget of 6.7 million US bucks. And wham, it pops off like nothing we've ever seen. Just looking this over again, and here's another mental stat for you. Six million sales in just four days. I mean, damn. As of a few days ago, coming to us from the official Power World Twitter account, like I said, we got the announcement that Power World had crossed 19 million players, 12 million on Steam alone, and another 7 million on Xbox. And I can't stress enough how fucking ludicrous these sales numbers are. I mean, you can love this game, you can hate this game, but you can't change the fact that it's selling like hotcakes. Pocket Pair doesn't seem to be showing any signs of slowing down either because a recent patch for both Steam and Xbox delivered on a host of player and base issues along with a multitude of patches and bug fixes. And again, you know, we've got this game just shooting off like a rocket, selling like crazy. And you know, the studio could have just said, hey man, we're going to take a vacation. But instead, they just continue to grind out changes and fixes to make the game perform even better. And... For all my ARC viewers out there, the game runs incredible for me on PC. I'm maxed out in full ultra settings, playing in 4K, and I've capped the frame rate at around 120 FPS, and I am frequently pegged at that number. Now granted, yes, it has a lot less going on in the surroundings than ARC Ascended, but damn, the, the difference between these two games is night and day when it comes down to just sheer performance. But now let's take a look at the main event because Pocket Pair's CEO has been making headlines of his own, joking that the server fees alone could bankrupt the studio after it spends $478,000 to quote, never let the service go down no matter what. Now, according to CEO Takuro Mizobi, the server costs have skyrocketed by 359%, which, yeah, is bound to happen when you have a game this sizzling hot and you've got millions of players all trying to get in on the action. Google Translate brings back his comments as, wait, maybe they'll go bankrupt due to server fees? I think he was just saying that in jest. We also saw the lead Power World network engineer vowing to fight to the bitter end, following the order to never let the service go down no matter what. These guys are serious about this. We have prepared servers without regard to cost. We will continue to give our all to ensure that all players can enjoy to the fullest. And then he continues on with 478,000. 
which, if they continue to run at these rates, will cost the company nearly $6 million to keep everyone enjoying Power World. And maybe six mil sounds like a lot, and yeah, it is, but to put this in perspective, Power World has surpassed Cyberpunk 2077, Hogwarts Legacy, and Elden Ring to become the biggest Steam launch in history. And just take a second to kind of absorb that. Pokemon with guns, which to someone that has been spending a lot of time recently with Ark would argue it's actually leaning much more heavily into Ark than it is Pokemon, and I can immediately see all the similarities, but you know, back to it. Pokemon with guns has passed 2077, Hogwarts, and Elden Ring. I'm speechless because we're seeing what is basically a once-in-a-lifetime gaming phenomenon. And all of this despite the buzz surrounding the Pokemon company reportedly looking into Power World, which I think at this point has kind of run its course and passed out of sight. Nintendo is known in the industry to be one of, if not the most, litigious companies known to mankind. They hit everyone with strikes and DMCAs, and if they wanted to erase Power World, they would sick their legal hounds on them, and that would be that. And none of that has happened yet, so probably good news there. There was also some pretty rough growing pains when Pocket Pair flipped the Power World on Switch, especially when it came down to server stability. But, you know, it was quickly corrected, allegedly due to an internal directive from Pocket Pair to maintain server stability without consideration for the expense. And what a complete reversal from what we as gamers are kind of used to seeing in this day and age of games as a service, cost cutting measures, etc., etc. You know, all I can say is this game doesn't play like I'm on a Nitrado server and Ark survivors know exactly what I'm talking about here. And finally, on the Xbox front, Microsoft has said it will provide support to Pocket Pair to quote, enable dedicated servers, which is great news for them, especially since it should help shoulder the burden of that insane monthly server build they are currently handling solo. Xbox can see that having Power World on their platform is beneficial and has also pledged help with GPU and memory optimization along with speeding up the process to make Power World updates available for players even faster on Xbox. Jeez, if I ever saw those words coming out of Snail Games and Studio Wildcard about Ark, I'd probably crap my pants. Anyways, maybe that was TMI there at the end, but it's nice to see the communication and dedication being displayed by the studio well after the launch of the game. And since Ark seems to be in a bit of a rut right now, I'm going to start mixing in more POW World here on the channel because it really is scratching that survival game itch, at least for me. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Likes, comments, shares are always appreciated. All my socials can be found down in the video description. And definitely find me and follow me over on Twitter as I'm quite active and post most of my findings there as well. A huge shout out to the nearly 191,000 of you that have stuck with me. And if you haven't already, hit that sub button and help me make that last push up to 200,000. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off.